Hi, this is John Lemko. Welcome to the Unify Video Owner's Manual. This is video number one. This is on installing, licensing, uh, some of the settings for setting up Unify, and then we stop. But first we have to install it. So this video is where we start. Now, when you buy the library, you'll get a receipt. Um, I'm going to pop up on the screen so you can see my receipt. Now, you'll notice there's a few things missing. I don't have links on this because it's not on the website to download yet. You'll have links in this email. They work one time. So if there's a timeout error, which is possible because it's a two gigabyte file or there's other technical difficulties, then you want to go to the website. Before you email me, go to the website. Log into the website, use your username and password, and then click the My Account button. And right here, you'll see the libraries that you own. Um, notice that I have Unify Standard Edition here, but there's no files. That's because it's only because it's not on the website for sale yet. But when it's for sale, like these zip files, there's going to be a PC, a Mac, and then the library. So you'll download the PC or the Mac install, and then both, whether you're downloading for PC or Mac, everybody needs to download the Unify Standard Library file, okay? Um, we'll come back and look at this licensing in a minute. So these two files will be downloaded. You can double click the uh, install Unify for the Mac or the execute for the PC. Open this up, go through the installation process, and that will install the plugins, whether it's VST and VST3. If you're on the Mac, it also installs audio units. It also installs a standalone version of Unify, so you can play this without needing to use anything else. It just all by itself. So since we've installed, we can right click here and say eject. Um, select this command, delete. Now I'm gonna show you this in standalone. So let me close this really quick. One thing that drives me nuts with Mac computers is that they by default don't show you the hard drive. Here's the icon for your hard drive. And I'm gonna give you a free tip. If you go over here to Finder, to Preferences, right here you can see where it says hard drives. Um, click that and now this hard drive icon will show up. And so you can double click this and I can open applications and right here I've made it so you just see this. Uh, there'll be other applications in the list, of course, but you have Unify. And I'm going to hold down Option and double click so that it makes that window go away. And you'll get this window of Unify. So as you can see, here it is. It hasn't been authorized yet. You can go to the settings page and see here it says it's running in demo mode. If you go over here to the browse page, um, there's no patches. We haven't installed the Unify file yet. So the first thing to do probably would be to install this. So click and drag the Unify standard library. I have put them on my desktop, but these will probably be in your downloads folder. And all you do is have this window open and then have it so you see this file and just drag it over the top of Unify and let up. And it will say, do you want to install the Unify standard library and say yes. This is how we will install all of our libraries in the future. It's you don't have to place anything anywhere. You don't even have to do anything in any menus you just drag the file over the top of unify and it will install it and then you'll go to the license page put in your license number and then the library will work it's very graceful and easy and at the same time we're protected with licensing which is something i've never had in over 10 years of making these libraries so so excited for this okay so it's installed again it doesn't show you anything because it's not authorized so go to the lock button now, if you're offline, it's more involved. You have to basically paste your license key here um, and hit generate challenge. It's gonna give you this nice long string and you have to copy to clipboard, send an email to us. Um, we'll have instructions on the email address to use and we will send you back a reply that you paste in here and hit validate and then you'll go through and be authorized, right? That's built into Unify. But if you're online, you can just hit online and it's a single license key, okay? Now, in the email that you were sent is a license key. You can also find it on the website. If you come over here to uh, the PluginGuru.com website, sign in if you haven't, go to my account and scroll down and here it says view licenses. I'm gonna blur this out, but if you hit key, right there is your license. So you double click, Command C to copy. Close that window, then you can go over here to Authorize Online. All you have to do is hit Paste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gray out the middle area again so you can't see these uh, my license key. But you paste, 
and it, it's different to my account. Everybody's license key is different anyhow, but I, it's just, you guys, I don't want to show it. So hit validate. It says contacting licensing server. Boom. Now check this out. Patches show up. You can click any of them. They work just like that. You don't even need to scan any of your hard drives for your, all your plugins. Now, if you don't hear something, then go to the settings. If you're in the standalone, and here you have choices for the audio card and make sure there's checkboxes for the uh, MIDI input that you want to have controlling Unify. Um, if you're on your DAW, it will play and go through your audio settings of your DAW. So if your audio settings are working for other plugins, it's going to work for Unify. Uh, be aware that for both the plugin and for standalone, there's a master velocity curve right here that you can modify. We have a velocity curve on every layer so that if I wanted something to be really expressive, I can go like this. And if I want it to be less expressive, I can have the curve be more like this. You can actually double click and make really weird curves and all sorts of goofy stuff if you want. But I wouldn't suggest doing that. But but if you're running on a weighted 88 note keyboard, um, these patches are going to play a little differently for you than how they play for me. If you want, go to settings to this global velocity curve and just crank it up a little bit if you want it to be less expressive. If you want it to be more expressive, go in the other direction. And this is basically taking the MIDI input numbers that come in from velocity and shaping the curve for them so you can modify it. And when you quit, it saves this curve, it remembers it, so it's really, really cool. We also have different pan methods for you to work with. So you have all sorts of options like that. And you can go through and play anything you want. Now, if things, if there's something not quite right, if it doesn't seem to load the patches and you can hit open for the data folder and it will open up a folder that shows you the three folders that it needs to see. It needs to see a VST folder, a presets folder, and a libraries folder. Inside of the libraries folder needs to be the unified standard library. And inside of the VST folder are these various plugins. This is the plugins that we received permission from a handful of developers that released free plugins. Those are what are inside of Unify powering the factory patches. So all of these are using either free plugins or else our Guru Sampler. There's a ton of stuff you can get inside of Unify. That sounds incredible. You have different pages to see how things are working. All these details are covered. Uh, extensively in the other videos that are coming up after this one. But that's the basics of getting around. You can also hit the little favorites to favorite your patches and then choose this and it shows your favorites. Okay. So thank you again for your business. I hope you enjoy Unify and everything you can do with this. The next video we're going to look at installing your own plugins and subsets because that's where the power gets to be just nuts. It's powerful enough that it's really, really cool with all these cool sounds, but then you can take and now add your own plugins to it and it just goes boom off the scale. Okay. So thank you again. We'll see you in the next video.